Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swagcoon, back at it again with another video, and today we're gonna drop a quick little video to show you guys how to complete the Gamamichi Trial High Difficulty Mission to get yourself some 300 Shino, some attack beats, and the new title that comes with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So for this mission, you can use literally whoever you want, but what's highly recommended are Shinobi that have a lot of AoE in their trap clear. So first things first, let me go ahead and show y'all real quick because this is a fat tremendous dub from bandai they have they finally dropped a banner that has the final valley units bro there's some really really good shinobi in this banner they have both the final valley units who are the two best units in the game edo Madara is pretty mid but we also have kawaki who is one of the highest damage dealing units in the game who's still really good kakashi's mid and one ninja sasuke's old uh old x ultimate is in this banner as well that has the revive cancel now you're guaranteed to get one of the one of uh their x ultimates in every single step bro and they have a really high chance of dropping as well so for those of you who didn't have a chance to get on the final valley units like if you didn't join uh during the anniversary i highly recommend dropping some shinos on them this is really good for beginners and even like intermediate players for those of you who don't have uh these units maxed out i highly recommend dropping at least a couple shinos on that banner but anyways let me go ahead and show y'all exactly how i completed it i actually pre-recorded myself beating it um so the first time i cleared it i cleared it by gate crashing now the good news is that you can gate crash and still get all three stars you don't need to defeat every single enemy in the in the base and i'll go ahead and show you guys that so all you can all you have to do is basically destroy the red pot i'll show you guys where that is and then you can go ahead and skip straight to the gate crash and if you defeat kaguya then you will be able to get all three stars you don't need to defeat everybody but let me go ahead and show you guys the team that i ran and how i was able to complete it let's check it out all right you guys let's get it so like i said i did pre-record this so during this time i did only have two stars that was from my gate crash and as you guys could see i was able to uh get those two stars so here these are the stats for my kawaki i'm using kawaki because of his huge damage dealing effect you can also use someone like final valley sasuke final valley naruto edo itachi you really want narukage is really good as well i highly recommend using units uh one ninja sasuke is really good as well i highly recommend using units that have revival on their x ultimate or units that give um ignore ninja to cooldown time with their x ultimate i also recommend using that bear trap ration because the bear traps in this mission are absolutely insane bro like you have to spam the attack button like millions of times but let me go ahead and show you guys why i like kawaki look at the trap clear on this thing but like i said man like this mission is pretty difficult because if you get caught slipping by one of the traps, they will kill you. Look, Final Valley Naruto and Baryon Naruto are two of my strongest units and they got clapped by a freaking installation, bro. So honestly, it doesn't really matter what team you run. To be honest, you're probably going to end up soloing it anyways because let's be honest, like your team is probably going to get clapped by the the installations in this mission so like i said naruto and baryon mode are already gone but as you guys can see man follow this exact path that i am going through right here this is going to be the fastest way you want to go to the right side first in order to get straight to the red pot so i'm gonna go all around this the good thing about kawaki is that he basically has a full room trap clear and does a lot of damage and with his x ultimate at level 15 when the red bar is full he ignores cooldown time and he gives himself revival too so this is why i really really recommend kawaki but like i said narukage is great edo itachi is great one ninja sasuke or either of the final value units are all very great options as well and you don't need their x ultimate at level 15 out of 15 it just makes it a lot easier but me personally as you guys can see like i am flying through this with kawaki especially in areas like this where you can't it's really 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 hard you're gonna waste a lot of time trying to destroy all the installations so here look he had revival i fucking died by a poison trap um so yeah i'm gonna use the x ultimate here in order to give myself some revival just in case give myself some buffs and that's gonna teleport me right over here so from here you just want to defeat these shinobi right here um kawaki really helps out that he has revive cancel on his x ultimate i probably should have waited to use it here but i forgot that there is a revival unit here but honestly like i said man i was able to clear it the first time by gate crashing i wasted a lot of time because i wasn't able to complete it like with under the 250 seconds or whatever it is because i was trying to figure out the steps and the fastest way to do it to record this video for you guys but 
Okay, so in this part right here, in order to get through it, you need to defeat every single Akatsuki member. If you try attacking like the Sasuke's or anybody that's not an Akatsuki, as you guys can see there, they have an insane amount of health. This is probably the most annoying part because it'll lock on to like everybody except an Akatsuki member. So you guys can see I'm, I'm accidentally attacking like Sasuke and Sarada and stuff. But you want to look for the Akatsuki members and they're the ones who are going to be like a one hit and you'll break them. But this is honestly dope. Like I really like this. It's super creative and honestly I, I like this man Th this was actually a lot of fun to figure out in my opinion but we're gonna go right around here this is gonna be rin and rampage obito i believe so again kawaki has the revive cancel so we're gonna go ahead and use the x ultimate to get that two for one wombo combo special we're gonna run right around here like i said be very careful with the installations because they can one shot you so make sure it's it's recommended that you use a shinobi that has a revive uh, revival in their X ultimate and also ignores ninja to cooldown time. So here we're gonna go ahead and gate crash. As you guys can see on the top, I still have one shinobi left that hasn't been killed, but we're gonna go ahead and kill Kaguya right here. And you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna get all three stars. So, like I said, the first time I did clear it by gate crashing, you don't need to defeat every single shinobi. As you guys could see, like I still had a few, uh, I had one shinobi left. But by doing that, I was able to complete it under 250 seconds and get all three stars. So, like I said, man, I highly recommend using someone with revival that ignores cooldown time. So, like Kawaki, Hokage Naruto, Edo Itachi, the Final Valley units. Um, KLM Minato is good too. KLM Naruto can do it, but he lacks a lot of damage. So use those type of units. That's who I recommend. And I do recommend if you don't have any of, any of them to drop a couple Shinos on that new banner because it's very, very good. But definitely try your best, you guys. You can definitely do it. You don't need to have a super, super high powered Shinobi. Um, as long as you have a good Shinobi who does a lot of AoE, like those units that I mentioned, you should be good to go. And you, it doesn't really matter on the team that you run because they're probably going to die anyways, to be honest. So as long as you have revival and you can kind of spam your jutsus, you should be all set, man. But anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. I know this mission is definitely worth it because you get 300 Shinos. So make sure you guys also complete those panel missions. Save up your Shinos because anniversary is coming up in two months. Make sure y'all be saving up for that. But anyways, hope this helped you guys out. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Join the swag fam if you have not already. Sasuke and Sakura showcase coming out soon. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Stay swaggy, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.